Now I'm going to look at several different types of connecting components together. So there are two methods within C Electrical 3D Panel. The first is using either a mounting or a rail. So if we look at this back plane and if we look in the list of information here we can set this as being the working plane. Within the symbol catalog if I bring in a symbol and I bring in this one here go to a front view and if I place it on the page then by default if we look at the actual explorer we can see that this element here is a child of the backplate and the reason is that it's actually if we look at that symbol let's just zoom in a short way right click and go down to block planes we can see it's got a whole load of different planes on there now the first one which we see in there if we turn that on is mounting and that's the one that's used as priority and that will mount to a mounting surface so that's the back plate it also has another one for rail so if we zoom back out and go to front view under cabinet place in DIN rail if we double click on this component we're placing it again and if we place it anywhere near this we'll see it snaps onto the DIN rail so this is now a child of the DIN rail I'm just going to take this off by double clicking on it and place it to one side and we'll see some other methods of snapping here if we right click go on to block planes we can see there are also auxiliary female connections if we go back to auxiliary female one we'll see that that is right in the center of that circle so this is a chassis for a PLC and we've got some auxiliary female connections now if we want to join these together with an existing component we have to select the existing placed item first and then as we're placing our symbol when we click we can place it down but we can use the control key of K and it will snap to a particular position if I type, type K again it jumps to the next one and again and you can see each one can be selected and then once you've got the right one you click OK and again I've got this component if I type K again it will snap to one of those positions if I select OK then it's on that position there now the nice thing about this is that it stays joined to that component so there's no other connection needed in there however the long-winded information or the information that needs to be put in is you need a block plane for each of those points let's remove those two objects and see an alternative way using mating planes so on this component I'm going to right click and go to block planes now the mounting and the rail items always start with a dollar and the mating planes always start with a minus usually for the source and a plus for a target for something to clip onto it so what we're going to do is go to create from a surface I'm going to hover over this surface now if I hit the space bar I can change where that axis point is I want it to be in the bottom left hand corner pointing upwards so that's correct if I go around again you'll see that the Z is actually pointing inwards so there are eight positions so I'm going to click on that point and say that's my mounting surface I'm going to call this one minus chassis now I can put a hash and put some notes on here top mounting but it doesn't really matter what I put in there so that's ready within each of these block planes for the mating ones we can also add snap points and this is where it gets a little bit easier we can take off the grid points and just choose a center snap point and I can say I want to add a snap point as being the center of these circles so I'm just going along here using the center snap and snap into the center of each of these and there's no real OK on that you just click on the X to close down that so it now has a minus chassis top mounting if we take one of the modules 
turn it upside down. Let's have a look underneath. And do a similar kind of thing. Right click, go to block planes. And we now add, perhaps from a surface again. And we want that to be facing upwards. So it's now the uh, pointing upwards and out of the panel because we're looking from the bottom. And we'll call that one plus chassis. I'll call it mating side. We can also add a snap point, which is going to be in the center between those two sides. I'm going to choose perhaps an endpoint snap. So effectively, it's going to be between this point and this one. So I'm going to close that down. And the difference this time, if we go to a top view, we should find if the mating snap is turned on when we double click, first of all, we can see the actual mounting surface. And then as you move across, you can see the different snap points appearing. So you're moving on that grid and you can click to place it. So the placement is much easier. We don't have to use the K. We don't need to uh, accept it. And the positioning um, is very quick and easy. However, the disadvantage is that unless you're mounting between a cabinet and a panel symbol, so the cabinet itself, then you'll find that these don't join together. So at the moment, these are not joined. We'd have to move them as a group like this. So that's using the mating surface. And we're mating between the block plane here for chassis, which has got a minus in front of the hash. And on this one, we've got a plus chassis, which is the connecting side.